Hello there, this is Patricia from Pinky's World and today I am doing a quick video to show how I make um, lovely gift bags for that are perfect for bottles of perfume for Christmas. So this, I have three of these to make for a friend and sorry about the light catch on the Mary card but that's what I'm using today and I am going to emboss it and I wanted to do a quick um, tutorial just to show you how I do it and more for me to be able to go back to it because my head's like a seven I keep forgetting my own instructions so you start off with a piece of A4 size the full sheet of A4 Mary card or whatever card you want to use and um, I'm going for this particular color because I'm also going with them um, lovely poinsettia flowers who what I have embossed in silver and layered up so that's what I'm doing for the tags you'll see them at a later date if you're interested but this is what you do first go in and score it at two inches five and a half seven and a half and eleven and turn it around and score it at two inches and that is your score done and if you have another spare piece of this Mary card cut yourself two pieces that measure about five eighths would be enough and just shorter than the three and a half inches so that it'll fit on the inside to cover um, the ribbon. You also need, um, and just go with the same ribbon for the three bags and keeping them the same. So you'll need about, I have gone with 30 centimeters, which is roughly about a, a foot. But I'll just measure in case you're more of an inch person. Yep, 30 is a foot. So you need two pieces of that for one bag. Just cut the two of them the same so that you know what you're working with and keep your edges straight. Don't cut them at an angle in other words. So keep those to one side. Um, I am also using my we are memory keepers too because I'm going to put eyelets in them as well because the perfume is so heavy I wanted to make sure that um, it didn't collapse them I've accidentally scored there but it's not going to matter because I'm putting it through this lovely embossing folder which is from Tattered Lace and um, it's a good big one I think it's eight inches by eight inches seven and a half inches by seven and a half so to, in order for me to get all that in um, do your folds first just so there's a mark for you because once it goes through this board or this embossing folder it's hard to see where your folds are but don't worry about the bottom one so much because it's not all going to be there so I've folded that roughly in half there's only this wee bit that isn't going to fit in pop it into your um, embossing folder and line it up you'll see where the line starts and begins just so that you're not left with a bad edge and try and keep it nice and straight and you'll see you're still left with half an inch I've changed my table here I'm over at the other side I thought it would be less of a clash with the Mary Care but it's not really so anyway you're left with this wee bit which is the fold at your bottom of your box everything else is going to be scored so I'm going to go off and run this through the embossing folder and come straight back to you so I'm back and it's all nicely embossed as you can see Um looks well so I want to do a cut now I'm just going to go back over my folds because they have been squashed that one's okay it is really a box like um, gift bag but when you have big bottles of perfume you can't go any higher than, unless you've got your um, 12 by 12 sheets and that only makes a wee bit of difference not a lot because you're taking like 11 and a half inches length here so you're not going to get much more in the width so just make sure you measure up your bottles before you go this far so i'm cutting these off at an angle and this is the bottom part and you just want to get rid of your excess on all those And that last one. 
Now, before we go any further, this is the time when you want to mark it for your eyelets. So I'm using my grid at the back here, if you have some grid. If not, mark down about what, two cent, two, a quarter of an, half an inch, sorry. God, I can nearly talk. I'd say it's about just over half an inch. But decide yourself, just so long as you keep it the same way the whole way down. And get your pencil, a pen, whatever. I'm trying to line the measurement up so that I know in between the two parts, the three and a half inch parts, is where you want to put your dot. So I'm going in an inch and marking. And from this side, you can see that's the score line. So I'm going in an inch. And that's those two. And then the same with this side. If you have to readjust your ruler to make sure you get it in, that's the mark. So I'm going in an inch. And this side, this is my score line. Sort of out of um, line here. But go from your score line in an inch. And that gives you there. So you're left with the two biggest parts and they both have uh, dots for your handles. So now you want to go in with your tool, your punch hole, whatever you want to use yourself. I'm going with the bigger hole and I'm just centering that. I'm getting rid of the excess. Just punch those out. Keeping them in the center. Should keep that and use it for confetti, couldn't So there's your four holes done. Now you need to go in with your little eyelets. I'm going with a white one to match my flowers. So you want to pop it on this bit here. I have it all set up for the size that I need, so you do that as well. So I'm sliding this through so that it clicks in, as you can see, it has caught it. And then you just need to give it a good squeeze, and that should flatten it all down for you. And just do the same for the next three. So there I have my four holes punched and ready for the ribbon to go through. So. In order to keep your ribbon nice and solid, you need to put a piece of narrow ribbon here and here. I did one of the bags putting a knot and I just don't like it. It's just is so untidy inside. And with the perfume coming right up to the top, you don't want that untidy look. So here's another suggestion for you just to keep it nice and flat with no knots and the, the perfume is very weighty and I have tried it out and give it a good shake and it hasn't come away on me yet so we'll keep that in there to get your ribbon in. So take one strip of ribbon, thread it through your eyelid, get the other side making sure that you're keeping the ribbon so that it looks nice on the other side not all wind up. So, okay, so we're going to take this piece of ribbon off, or sorry, this piece of sticky double-sided tape off. Pull your ribbon through till it's like just long enough to sit on that tape. Use that the edge of that tape as your guide and just pull it through and then make sure it's pressed on. Do the same with the other side. And you just want enough ribbon to come to the top where you've put your tape. A little more. And give that a wee tug. And just make sure that it's nicely taken. Now to fix that, we're going to put our wee pieces of silver that were made. And we're just going to pop them there and there. And it comes right to the top of the bag and it holds the ribbon nice and perfectly. Oops. So I'm putting um, this wet glue. Actually, I suggest you put another piece of double-sided tape on top of the ribbon because you really don't want it slipping out. And then remove that. And 
that gives you a really good base for your card to go on top of and hold it all together so just put a bit of good strong glue whatever you use for your strong stuff that isn't going to dry out and come away so just make sure everything's flat both sides and that should just fit neatly in there between the two make sure you're not going over any sections and make sure you're not over at the other side that goodness there's a bit of ribbon sticking out you don't want that to happen tuck all those wee bits in before whoops before you um seal it closed so you want to get your bone folder now and give that a really good press just to make sure that it's fully taken around the ribbon part and that ribbon is not going to come out so you want to go to the other side and just do the exact same again your piece of ribbons there thread your ribbon through fold it over line it up and seal it closed with your second piece of double-sided tape and then your your wee piece of silver card that you, you cut out so that is both ribbons done they should both be of the same length because you've used your measurements and now we need to put our box together so I've went along with a piece of the same double-sided tape um, on this wee edge. I've also trimmed it off the top. So remove your backing. And then put some of the same glue. Sorry, I'm out of picture again. This desk is definitely smaller than my regular one. Just make sure you're around your edges but not too oozy that's going to make a holy mess on you so i want to line this up and just be careful mary card absolutely loves sticky fingers and hands so sorry i'm really working to get this nice and straight if you need to trim it if you've went over to far um, just trim off the excess there it's not too bad there's a, there's a bit of stickiness up there if you get yourself a dried out baby wipe just a dried out one and put a wee tiny bit of moisture from your uh, cleaning sponge it should take that away from you removes any stickiness without um, pressing. I'm just dipping that in the moisture just to help it help it along the way. Murray card is a curse. It's beautiful leg like, for Christmas but it's a damn curse to keep sticky fingers off. You'd need to be wearing gloves. That's okay. So we fingerprint there. Once I get glue on with that set, it's hard to get rid of it. But it does come off. This is like magic, this piece of baby wipe. Now, that should be okay. So now we need to do our bottom up excuse the term uh, make sure wherever your fold is that that's going to be the back of your box you don't want to show and these two should tuck in this one is going to tuck here and this is going to come forward now you can see this is where we didn't get design but we can easily trim that off and it just looks like the design was everywhere so you want to put a bit of glue on these ones or you can just pop it on your bottom or use the turn tape whatever whatever product you use just make sure that your box is good and straight don't want the angles um, being off 
as soon as you can turn it up and go in and squeeze those so they're all sitting down nice and flat and the glue ticks so now you just want to go back up and add a wee bit of glue to this This Mary card is so reflective, it's driving me nuts even using it on the on the video. So just pop it down, make sure you're happy. And that will fit those um, perfumes. I think this one's an aftershave one. Uh, it fits the large ones perfectly and you could add a wee bit of tissue paper or just leave it. It's entirely up to yourself. But if your bottle is smaller than that, which is fine, um, get your two sides and give them a wee squeeze and that gives you the nice wee handbag shape. And then I'm going to make a tag which will hang on from there. Let's see a bit of dirt there too. And that should finish me up. Um, I'm happy enough, I'll just clean that up in a second, I'll not bore you with it. But just remember, keep yourself a nice wee um, dried out baby wipe to wipe away when you're working with um, Mary Card. So, hope you've enjoyed that, and we'll catch you all again later. Bye!